Hi, I'm Kelly Pascalis, and I want to show you a quick, easy, inexpensive way to take something drab and turn it into fab. I bought this cute little table at a thrift shop, one of my favorite things to do. And yes, it's very cute, but it's just plain black. And I thought, let's do it a pop of color, brighten it up. It'll be really easy to do, and it'll look great in the end. So what I want to do is give you a step-by-step -step edition of how I did this. So first you want to wipe down and clean off your table. Then I took a screwdriver and made sure all the Phillips screws were tightened on the base. I think it's really important to gather all of your materials at the beginning so you don't have to keep running back and forth to get all of your supplies. So what I like to do is find a nice spray paint that's good for indoor, outdoor, metal, wood, plastic, whatever. This is a metal table and I picked this really nice pop of color in the spray paint. I have a damp cloth to wipe up any spills or messes and I like to use a pair of gloves when I spray paint so you don't have to wash your hands a bunch of times. What I've done here to prep the surface on the ground here, I put down a piece of cardboard and then I put some paper over it because I am spray painting outside to avoid fumes and so the sun will help dry the table quickly. So once you have everything on hand and ready to go, you got your paint all shaken up in the can. Um, I'm going to turn this over and start painting the bottom first because I want the top to be done last. I don't want any smudges or marks on it when I'm done. So here we go, we're gonna get started. Just like it says on the can, you wanna do sweeping strokes and you don't need to over paint it or get it heavily coated this first round. I think a lot of shorter, lighter coats, letting them dry in between work better. So again, just do a light coat over everything that's exposed on the bottom section. And you're gonna have to walk around because you see all kinds of little spots every time you get a different angle on it. And again, you don't have to overcoat it this first time around because you're going to be coming back again to do additional coats. And then you'll be able to fill in any spots you might have missed. Okay, so the first coat is finished and it's already looking so much better than when I purchased it. So now I'm gonna go inside and work out, give this plenty of time to dry so I can turn it over and start the second process. All right, so it's about 45 minutes later and I can touch it and feel that it's not sticky or tacky so I know it's dry, it's okay to turn it over. So now as I start spray painting the top, you'll be able to see any of the little spots that I missed on the first go around from this angle up top. So here we are, just a couple of hours from start to finish. And is this the cutest table ever? Like I said, from drab to fab. It is so cute. You can use this on your patio, like I've got mine out here. It would make a great bedside table in your bedroom or an end table in your family room or living room. It's just the cutest thing ever. I also thought if you wanted to protect the top, I put several coats of paint on the top just so it would have a nice thick coating. If you're worried about it, maybe you could put a piece of round glass on the top or do like your mother always taught you and use a coaster. But anyway, here we go. Thank you so much to my son Nicholas for taping this for me and just wanted to show you it's so easy to do. You don't have to have any special talent to do a Kelly craft. <laughs>